Hi everyone, and uh, this is batch 193 in my freeze dryer. I did something I honestly thought I would never do. I did raw eggs. Um, I usually cook everything because I think if the power's out, I don't want to deal with raw food. I want to add some water or I just open the bag and start eating. And then uh, I just kind of started thinking, you know, sometimes you're just out of things or, you know, I do have um, a wood burner I could cook on. I have cast iron cookware. You can always cook outside. If you're storing raw ingredients like uh, flour uh, or want the ability to make your flour, well, wouldn't you want some raw eggs available if you didn't have chickens? So I freeze dried some raw eggs. I have 18 per tray and it looks a, a little different colored from here to there to there and it is because the harvest right racks are tilted in the back and I don't have room in my freezer in my refrigerator to store the trays to allow them to freeze level I just go ahead and put in what will fit which was 12 eggs put it in the freeze dryer, just run the freeze for two hours, go back in, turn the trays around so it's frozen in place, and now at the back of the freeze dryer is where the empty space would be, and then I add six more eggs, and then I start my freeze dry cycle. So that's what 18 eggs looks like freeze dried, and I was wondering, because I had never done raw eggs before, if I would be, if I should have used my silicone, and I didn't need to. It lifts up very easily from there. And what I do from there is I weigh, I put everything on a plate, a paper plate. So see how the scale says 13 grams, negative 13. Well, when I put the plate on, it goes to zero so that I know the weight of the food is 71 grams. I should put oh, there now it's 70. I, I don't get drift on a scale, but I'm close enough. So this one tray here of, oh, not that one, this one, uh, freeze-dried raw eggs, 18 eggs. I've weighed two trays so far. One was 220 grams, and one was 212 grams. And let me show you that. So once again, this is just how I do my batches. Um, right here is batch 193. I started on, on August 17th, and I started it at uh, 7 17 p.m. and I did a nine hour freeze and a 19 hour um, dry cycle why did I do 19 hours do you need to do 19 hours absolutely not I do extra dry hours just because I don't want the machine to stop when I'm not there I always add time just because I'm always doing something else and it just never seems to be a convenient time. You can see that this batch was done and my last batch was in late July. So I'm not doing so good in freeze drying in a timely manner. But I had a wonderful summer. I got my grandkids pretty much all summer because their parents were working their butts off. So we were busy. But then right here, I put 18 raw eggs times four, just means that's the same thing on each tray. And what I did here is 18 eggs. So it's kind of like a chart without the lines. 18 eggs freeze dried is 220 grams, which means 12 is 146 grams, 6, 73 grams, and one egg would be 12 grams. And then over here on the next tray, you see those numbers are slightly off all the way down to one egg is what a half a gram lighter it's not that it makes a big deal in I don't do this for counting calories or anything like that it's just that I'm not dumping 18 eggs into one large bag so I want everything to be as accurate as possible if I tell you I'm giving you an three raw eggs like this 
well, I don't want you to have two and a half raw eggs or two and a quarter raw eggs or you get the drift, right? So um, what I'm doing here is I'm just doing my eggs in three and six. So uh, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, how long did that take? Um, I subtracted my added time. So freeze drying 18 eggs per tray on four trays, 72 eggs, takes 52 hours. And one thing I, I do consider when I'm freeze drying food is, is it worth it? Is it beneficial? Now I could go on one of the um, sites that sell freeze dried food and look up their raw ingredients like, um, you know, does anybody have freeze dried eggs? And then I could compare that and say, okay, how many eggs am I getting in your container and how much does it cost me and how much did my eggs cost a dozen? And then I have the time consideration of um, do I want to take the time to freeze dry that? Well, there's a couple reasons I didn't and generally don't. I generally find that since I cook my food, I want to know exactly what's in my food. I don't want to get something and be surprised by one of the ingredients in the label. But also, I've generally found that even in a case like this, it's, it's better just to go ahead and freeze dry your own. Because if you've ever noticed on the freeze dried um, packages, they tell you how much it weighs now. They don't tell you what it weighed before they freeze dried it, and they generally don't say, I mean, you could figure it out, but they'll say something to, and please don't quote me on this, they'll say you're getting six ounces of raw eggs scrambled, mixed up, or whatever they would say. So you're getting six ounces, and then they would tell you in the back how to prepare it, and then they would say, uh, you know, mix this many eggs with this excuse me, this much powder with this much water to get this many eggs. But then you've got to do a lot more figuring uh, to figure out how many eggs you're actually getting in their six ounce package. You may only be getting one dozen eggs and you paid $12 for that. I don't know. Do you really want to pay $12 for a dozen freeze dried eggs? I guess if you don't have a freeze dryer you'd have to however wouldn't it be better just to go ahead to um, the website harvest right oh this is turning into a commercial I'm <laughs> sorry um, they have a great layaway plan and even if you can't lay it away you know a lot of people don't get that you can make payments to yourself it's so hard for many people to save and it was kind of hard for me to save up for my freeze dryer uh, so what I did was uh, the one year we got a really nice um, tax refund so I told my husband I'm taking the tax refund this year and I'm buying a freeze dryer and he just said okay so that's what I did I, I used my uh, uh, tax return for my freeze dryer and uh, that's just how I was able to do it. But that's it. Didn't mean to turn this into a commercial for the Harvest Right freeze dryer, but I would definitely buy it again. And if I had the space, I'd probably buy another one, which would probably really not work out for me because I don't have the time to freeze dry a lot of food anyway. Come winter, hopefully I will. So that's it. Batch 193 in the freeze dryer is um, done. 72 raw eggs. And it took 52 hours. Have an amazing day.